hey guys this is Kmart Parkersburg West Virginia specifically the one on the south side um, I don't believe the shopping center has a name um, couldn't find one anywhere but this store just closed in April of 2017 and I wanted to document this because there's a story behind this Kmart it's not just an ordinary Kmart actually the most uh, haunted Kmart you've ever heard of. Um, check out the label scars here. I believe that was a Western Union moneygram sign. Um, and up here you had the, on the left hand side there it said big, and then the other one was a the big K symbol. Um, this store was probably open in the 1970s or so. And just gonna look inside here if we can. I can't do too much because there's a police officer sitting out here in the parking lot. I think he's honestly just waiting for his Chinese food, but I don't want to take chances. There's a couple lights on inside the store there, and there might even be a person in there. I thought I saw something moving. Huh. And uh, as I walked by that, I could hear it click. So the electric's on. The... There's just a little bit of the inside really can't see much so since this hasn't been closed more than two months you know everything apparently the electrics on they've just got the doors locked because they tried to open as I walked past them um, this place has always been kind of rough south side is sort of the rough part of town um, and well you know Kmart is not exactly invested in their stores see the label scar there for the pharmacy. I remember uh, just last year I was actually making some deliveries to the pharmacy here. Um, I was surprised when they said they were going to close this place and how quickly they actually closed it. But I'm walking over here to the side of the store because this is why this is a haunted, haunted Kmart. Uh, a couple years back uh, BuzzFeed actually made a video, or not a video, a, an article about this being the most haunted Kmart in the world. And that doesn't have that much to do with Kmart itself, actually. Um, what it actually has to do with is something that used to sit right about there, or maybe there, or maybe about there. I'm not sure of the exact location. Um, back sometime, and I'm sure this is easy enough to look up, but sometimes in the 1950s, 60s, or 70s um, there was a house there and I believe the family's name was Bailey and they um, had a ton of kids the grandparents lived with them and nobody's entirely sure of what happened but the um, the house caught fire late one night I think it was proven that it was two of the older kids who did it, um, and unfortunately most of the family died in the fire. It's something that the people in this community that remember it are very upset about. I will say that most people don't remember or even know about it. I found out on some Facebook history groups for the city, but um, there's walk back there we gotta walk around the fence here um, so this would have been I think the lawn and garden area back here looks like scrappers have already started on the fence um, but over here is where that house was and um, most like I said most of the family died in the fire um, and the two kids that survived were um, questioned and I think they may have even admitted to starting the fire um, but the issue was, I guess back then they didn't just charge them as adults and they didn't, um, well, even take them to juvenile hall, I don't believe. Uh, what they did instead was they put them in a almost sort of witness protection program where they um, gave them new identities. And most people were pretty sure they moved out of town. Uh, I mean, they could have moved back at some point just based on nobody recognized them anymore but 
anyway, um, I never experienced anything in there myself, but uh, there are all kinds of stories in, those, in that BuzzFeed article about people they interviewed, ex-employees, saying all kinds of crazy stuff happened, stuff flying off the shelves, and apparitions, disembodied voices. Um, you know, I've actually never been back here myself. <laughs> Um, it's kind of creek down there. Um, so it looks like they just threw everything away at the end. Uh, maybe put it in the compactor there. But I had my own experience here a couple years ago. So I don't feel too bad that they shut this place down. I was. There's a lot of peanut butter. It's all eaten too. Um, I went in here to buy an air mattress. I was practically homeless at the time and I was sleeping on an air mattress. And this, uh, anyway, um, I bought this really cheap air mattress from here. It was completely defective by design, but also it was like not the same color as what it was supposed to be, which I didn't care. I didn't care what the color was. Um, but then I went to inflate it and wouldn't inflate, and I found out is there was like a five inch long gash in the bottom of it. So I took it back, and they're, they have all these super strict rules for returning air mattresses. And they wouldn't return it, and they gave me all kinds of hassle, and then they accused me of stealing it because it wasn't the right color as what said on the receipt even though everything else is the same. And, uh, you know, I, I basically just got nowhere with that and they ripped me off for their faulty air mattress. So, I'm sure that's not what put them out of business, but um, that was just kind of the experience of customer service you get here. So anyway, I'm not sure what's gonna happen with this place. Obviously they've got it up for anyone who wants it. Um, uh, if you rewind in the video, you can see the number there if you want to call and open something up here. Um, more than likely, this will sit empty for 50 years like everything else in Parkersburg does. But um, if, you work, if you used to work here, or if you live on Southside, um, if you've ever had any ghostly experiences here, or if you know about the Bailey Fire, I'd like to get details of any of that, leave it down in the comments. Also, please subscribe because I'm going to be uh, posting a lot of a lot of more videos about dead and dying retail and even other industries here in Parkersburg. It looks like I just threw everything in the dumpster last minute. Rugs, the carpet, clothes. <laughs> Alright guys, thanks for watching. Please subscribe for more abandoned Parkersburg content.